Welcome back. The Republican National Committee raking in the big bucks. Now on track for $130 million in fundraising in 2017. That would break a record for any off-year election cycle. RNC Chairwoman Ronna Romney McDaniel has made fundraising a key priority. But the RNC's Democratic counterpart is going in the opposite direction, with the DNC seeing its lowest total in 10 years for the month of November. So far, Republicans have raised $121.4 million. That's exactly twice as much as the Democrats, who have taken in $60.7 million. Uh, so, Marie, I'm going to start with you. I'm um, writing checks over here. Are you? Okay. <laughs> yeah, sending yeah. Them Hopefully in. you can wow. cash them. But no, okay. All right, so I want to start with you. Um, obviously, the DNC brand took a big hit. There was allegations sure. of rigging. Even Senator Elizabeth Warren conceded at one point that the election was rigged in favor. The Democratic primary was She's rigged in favor that. of Hillary Clinton. But she said as much. And yeah, a lot of voters, voters but a lot of Democrats, it doesn't matter. Perception well, is everything. how much wampum they brought but in. So my question to you, Marie, is how much is this poor fundraising a reflection of the hit that the brand hit, the took? No, it's a good question. And I think uh, what's been, so on the plus side for Democrats, I'll start there. Individual candidates and the DCCC have raised uh, historic numbers. We've broken records. For individual candidates, Democrats are still fired up and they're still writing checks. In a midterm election, that matters more than the national party. But on the negative side, for 2020, particularly, the national party does matter. And if, if money won elections, Donald Trump would have lost to Hillary Clinton. She outspent him by a vast amount of money. But it is still concerning. The DNC has to rebuild its image before 2020. How do they do that? We have to get, well, I think Tom Perez has some more work to do. I think doing well in 2018 will help, though. If we take the House or, or perform strongly, if we hold some of the Senate seats in states that Trump won, I think that will filter up. And if we have a strong candidate slate running in 2020, it's going to be a big primary. Well, and I do think they, they can rebuild that trust, especially if we have a good 20.